Jim, you're through to the quarter-final draw. Just how does that feel? Listen, I'm delighted. Um, I thought it was one of our most complete performances for a hell of a long time, definitely this season. Uh, you know, I thought we managed the game brilliantly. We picked and chose the moments when to play and when to go and clear our lines. And, um, you know, I've not looked at the stats back yet, but I would imagine, uh, you know, the heavy way towards our side. You know, we had loads of plenty of shots, loads of crosses. Absolutely dominated the midfield, I felt. Uh, the three young boys in the middle of the park in particular, McGrath, McPherson, young Doyle Hayes, I thought they were outstanding. But listen, it's a massive result for us. You know, a big, big performance uh, was needed to do it because Aberdeen are a good side. You know, they've got some really good players. Um, but I'm just delighted that we've managed to, to find a way to win the game. And um, I don't think it's any more than what my boys deserve, to be honest. Were you wondering, after the, the nature of the way that first half panned out, just exactly if it wasn't going to be one of your days? Because we were standing there and wondering how you, you didn't go in at half-time ahead. Yeah, listen, I thought we started the game really well and we spoke about trying to dominate that midfield and trying to control the game, and I thought we did. And, you know, I was disappointed we weren't 3-0 up, if I'm being honest. Uh, and to go in at half-time, one each... It was obviously disappointing, but you know, I, I said to the players to go out and just do the exact same what you did in the second 45, and we'll win the game. And um, you know, Aberdeen had a little spell there late on in the game, like all good teams do, where they pushed us back and we had to ride it out. And I thought we did that brilliantly. Um, but I think we look. The goal is a bit fortuitous. There's no getting away from that. Joe Lewis is a fantastic goalkeeper. We're always encouraging our midfielders to try and just have a go, and you just never know. And Tonight, we got that bit of luck, I think, that our overall performance deserved. Just how helpful has this tournament been for you this season to instil that confidence in players and, and start getting results when you weren't even having games up until then? No, absolutely. And, um, you know, the, the group was as tough as they come, in my opinion. You know, people might look at it and think we had a, you know, a League One team in Partick, but we had every team in our group was, was full-time teams, you know, and um, so there was no gimme. And that proved to be the case. They were all difficult games, but we managed to top the group, get through. We would have likened the draw to be a bit kinder to us. I can't say I was jumping around when I saw Aberdeen's name coming out, but we knew it was going to be a difficult night. Um, Aberdeen have got a habit of going, you know, long way in, in, in all domestic cups of, of recent years, and uh, we knew we were going to have to be up for it tonight. And um, I think we, we were. I think that showed. And I'm looking forward to watching it back tonight with a nice glass of red. Well, you've taken a big scalp tonight and we'll see who you get in the next round. Well done. Looking forward to it. Thank you.